Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage power management settings on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So basically a power plan are just settings that configure your system and hardware management that allow you, the user, to conserve on energy or maximize system performance or achieve a balance between these two options. There's even an ultimate power performance plan, which I've covered in other videos. You're welcome to explore that. But in this tutorial, we're going to cover the three basic ones, the balanced power saver and high performance plans. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Start off by opening up the search menu and type in control panel. Best match, so come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by up in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select the power options selection. And now you should see preferred plans as well as if you select show additional plans, you should see all the plans listed here. So balance will automatically balance performance of energy consumption on capable hardware. Power saver saves energy by reducing your computer's performance where possible. And high performance favors performance but may use more energy. So generally speaking, most of these settings really pertain to laptop and mobile users that are using tablets and so forth, tablets, laptops that have internal batteries that need to be charged up. I mean, desktops have batteries too, but that's not the uh, point of this particular feature. So if you have a laptop that you want to conserve the battery power and just extend the longevity of the battery, you may want to consider going to power saver mode, as well as if you are on the road and you don't have access to a power source, it might be helpful just to switch to power saver mode for the time being. However, if you're going to be doing any gaming, you might want to switch to high performance mode. So you have various options here. Generally speaking, the system doesn't behave too much differently between all three of the options from my experience, but you will definitely notice a marginal difference between all three. Some people will say they notice them more than others. It's a little subjective, but generally speaking, this just kind of gives you the general idea. And this is achieved by reducing or increasing display brightness as well as by allocating system resources you know, to a more higher level if you want to go more of a higher performance plan. So different ways on how to adjust your battery life. And you can just even dim your laptop monitor screen and not even switch one of these plans here. That does a lot, actually, um, reducing the brightness of your screen in terms of conserving power for your battery. So just something to keep in mind. And if you want to adjust sleep settings as well, so choose when to turn off the display, you can adjust this as well. So if you're someone who walks away from their computer for a while, you may want to put your computer to sleep or at least turn off the display after so much time of inactivity has elapsed. Definitely a good idea, particularly if you are a laptop user. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.